हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आज इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस लेट्स बिगेन कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेसिकली मींस हाउ द वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर आर कंबाइंड into a whole computer for united action we know all computer systems perform the same function that is to convert input information into useful information for the user interestingly the basic logical structure of a computer has not changed although the size shape performance reliability and cost of computers have been changing over the last several years but the basic logical structure is almost same so all computer systems perform the five basic functions these basic functions are inputting storing processing outputting controlling so the internal architecture of computers is different for different models of systems but the basic organization of all computer systems is the same we saw by taking the block diagram of a basic computer organization input in it central processing unit cpu output unit we provide the program or data to that of init input unit then that towards the processing unit inside that processing unit there will be memory unit where data is stored control unit alu arithmetic logic unit secondary memory
then secondary memory to arithmetic logic unit control unit then towards memory unit after central processing that towards the output and finally we have the result this is the block diagram of basic computer organization so computer organization we show how the various parts of that computer are combined into a whole computer for united action and it has five basic functions inputting storing processing outputting controlling this is a block diagram of basic computer organization input processing then output for that of input unit we have some kind of input devices again for output unit you have some kind of output devices let us study what is input devices and output devices input devices a computer is given data and instruction for the purpose of computation of results therefore the unit which feeds the computer with data and ins instructions is known as input device the unit which feeds the computer with data and instruction is known as input device input device that a device links a computer with its external environment and it has uh, various kinds of functions to receive the data and instruction from external environment to feed this to computer in acceptable form which form it is required either in binary or uh, any kind of uh, machinery language that read it then to supply that data and instructions to the storage unit for further processing so for unit input devices they receive the data and instructions from that of external environment then feed this to computer to that of acceptable form then supply that instructions to that of storage unit these are the storage unit memory unit control unit lu secondary memory these are the storage unit for further processing some examples of input devices examples keyboard when we press any kind of uh, alphabet or numericals to that of keyboard this is an example of input device mouse joystick joystick is used for online gaming trackball scanner graphic tablet light pen barcode reader barcode reader used 
to read the barcodes that present any kind of products. Microphone. M I C R, M I C R, which is magnetic ink card reader. Magnetic ink card reader. That basically used to read the ATM data. There will be a magnetic chip is read by that instrument MICR magnetic ink card reader. Next uh, OCR OCR that is optical character reader optical character reader. It is used to read a printed text. Next, O M R. In competitive exams, optical mark readers. Optical mark readers. When we give uh, the answer of uh, various kinds of questions that are asked in competitive exams in the form of uh, OMR that can be read by that optical mark recognized device. These are various kinds of examples under input devices next output unit performed by output devices so the output devices the unit which receives information from a computer for display projection or any kind of physical reproduction physical reproduction is known as output device So, it will be a number of uh, functions to receive data from the computer in coded form to convert that coded results to human acceptable form and supply that converted result to outside world. First, the output devices receive data from that of computer in coded form and then convert that coded result to human acceptable form. The form which is uh, easily recognized by human beings. Then it is processed uh, that coded form and finally supply the converted result to the outside examples of output devices in printer projector headphones monitor plotters plotter uh, is uh, basically a printer that is specially designed for printing vector graphics it is plots picture on a paper using pen and a computer is uh, used to design plans and pictures on that of screen. That plotters 
gives a hard copy of this drawing design. Nowadays, uh, these plotters in many places have been replaced with the conventional printers. Next speaker, punched tape. Punch tape uh, is uh, a long strip of paper in which uh, holes are punched. In fact, the pattern of uh, punches carries data. It was extremely used during the age of uh, teleprinter communication and it was also used as a storage medium for many computers, though it is uh, not in use nowadays. Punched car, punched card uh, is uh, a piece of hard paper having typical hole pattern and uh, it was used to carry information represented by the presence or absence of holes in definite locations and uh, it is usually not in use nowadays. Wireless sound card these are uh, the typical examples of uh, output devices. So here with the help of this video lecture we understand computer organization basic functions of uh, a computer that is inputting, storing, processing, outputting, and controlling. These basic functions are shown in the help of block diagram. Idea of input and output devices. Input devices, its function and examples. Output devices, its function and examples. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.